In this video we're going to take a look at how to manually sign an FTD device using the CLI and OpenSSL. The purpose of this is to sign our FTD device with a trusted local CA. In this demonstration we'll be using an FTD device which is locally managed using Firepower Device Manager or FDM. So just quickly if we take a look now at the certificate we can see that we're using a self-signed certificate currently which has been signed by the device itself. So a certificate path is literally just its own certificate. So what we want to do is want to generate a uh, certificate signing request for this device and get it signed by a local trusted CA. So with access to the CLI, you want to go into expert mode and then elevate your privileges with sudo su and change directory to etc ssl and then what we want to do is we want to generate a private key and a CSR. So to do do that we'll do open SSL request new new key RSA and we're gonna use two thousand forty eight bit get the key and then we're going to call our uh, private key file private dot key and then we're going to call our CSR uh, the host name of this device dot CSR so we'll just generate that and now what we have here is a output telling us it's going to write the private key to private dot key as we specified and now we need to enter some information for the certificate so I'll enter the details that are relevant to myself yours may be different but for the purpose of this demonstration I'll just quickly go through this. FQDN, our common name, will be the device host name. So FTD001. Uh, leave the email address. We'll just give it a quick password for the purpose of the demonstration and we should be done. So now what we see if we do a ls on the directory we can see now that we've got our CSR and we also have our private key. The private key you want to keep uh, safe and only visible to yourself. Do not do not share that private key. Now we want to copy the CSR so that we can get it signed by the CA. In this demonstration I'll be using uh, Windows Server CA to generate that certificate. So if we just do a cut and if we just copy this request and if I just do SRV it's not worked there we go 
and then what we want to do is we want to request a certificate if you're using uh, Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services and then we go to advanced certificate request we'll input or copy the output of the CSR we'll change this to web server and then we'll just submit that and what we'll do is we'll download the base64 encoded download that and if we just open that we can see now that we have a certificate that's been issued by our local CA in this case uh, now what we want to do is if we open up this with notepad or notepad++ we'll take the contents of the certificate from that go over to our FTD and this is using the local manager so we'll log in to this and then we want to go to objects certificate or certificates rather and then we want to add internal certificate and then we select upload certificate and key we'll give it a name so I'm just going to give it a name suitable for me and then what we'll do is with that notepad we'll copy the contents so the first part we are uploading the certificate from that's been signed and then the second part we're going to upload the key so this is a private key that we created earlier so I'll just copy this but it will not be shown on this video and then once you're done we just press OK and then we should be able to find our certificate So we can see it there and we can see there that all the contents are correct and that's essentially how you create a certificate that's been signed by a local trusted CA and add this to FDM or Firepower Device Manager now if we want to use that as the default web server certificate what we do here is we would replace the one that's currently in use as we can see and it gives us a warning here basically just saying if we make the changes we we'll lose connection to the FDM uh, while the new certificate is uh, replaced so then what we would do then is essentially we would add the same details in so if I just go back to this copy that and then again I'll add the key which won't be displayed on this video now once the services have restarted we should be able to verify the new certificate on the Firepower Device Manager now if we just click certificates we can see here that we have a new certificate that's been issued to uh, this device and it's been issued by our local trusted CA so that's all there is to it that's how you add certificates manually to FTD with FDM